Okay, so uh, today we're going to talk about uh, wiring an outlet with a split circuit going into it with a shared neutral. First, see this little tab here on the two uh, brass screws? We're going to break this little tab out with a pair of pliers like this. Gotta work it back and forth a few times. And you can see the little tab is broken and you got the gap on both sides there. Okay, so now we'll be stripping our wires to the put them around the screws on the outlet. Okay, we have a silver screw here, which is the neutral. So we will put our white wire on the neutral side. Put our, close our loop around the, the screw. White always goes on the silver screw. Our ground wire will go on the green screw. And our black and the red. Remember we took this tab out here between these two. black goes on one brass, the bottom or the top, it doesn't matter. Got to close the loop around the screw. There we go. You don't want the insulation any further back than that. That's the most you'd want the insulation to be back. But the wire is around the screw and the loop is closed. And the uh, red will go on the other side here. Okay, so uh, safety first, when you start doing a job, you always make sure you shut your power off. So we're going to come over to our panel box and we're going to turn the power back on. Okay, so now we'll take our meter here and we'll verify that this is hooked up properly. The reason you put the red and the black on opposite legs of the 240 is so that you do not overload the neutral. So I'm going to do a test here. So we have we have 120 on the bottom. 
we have 120 on the uh, okay now we have 120 on the top now we'll go between the two legs of the and there we have a uh, 240 between the red and the black And there is the uh, setting we'll be use, we used. We used the 300 volt because we are checking 120 and also we were checking 240. So uh, we used the 300 volt setting on this meter. Thanks for watching.